Starting our countdown at number 10 is Jazz Nicole. Like many other influencers, she decided to get a boob job in hopes that they would leave her feeling like a brand new but instead, it left her with an inverted nipple, vertigo, and joint pain. She was in so much pain that she couldn't lay on her stomach, exercise, or even take deep inhales for an entire year. Within that year, she had to have three breast surgeries to try and correct the first botch procedure. Even after the third surgery, she said that she woke up with a full body rash. She described it and said it felt like she was bit by 1,000 fire ants. She vented to her YouTube followers and said, it would be really, really nice for me to have one just one drama free surgery experience. Yeah, girl. I don't know what kind of bad karma you got, but that is some serious bad luck. Next up is Sydney Black, who wanted to make her face appear slimmer, so she went to get some fillers in her jaw. But she was actually really happy with her results, so she wanted to go back and get more. It's like when you get a tattoo. I feel like once you get one tattoo, you immediately want more. Tell me I'm wrong. During one of her visits back, the doctor suggested that she should add to her cheeks and make them more full, and also suggested to her to get some fillers underneath her eyes. She agreed to it, but regretted it afterwards when her face looked permanently swollen. She's been open about it, saying it made her feel super insecure, and said, I quote, it was probably one of the worst decisions I have ever made. Well, girl, you might have gone just one doctor visit too far. Sometimes less is more. Coming to the number eight spot is Cassidy Valentine. I blame Kylie Jenner for making lip fillers a household term. Our generation has normalized the cosmetic procedure as if it's buying a new handbag. Cassidy hopped on the train and went to get lip fillers, but said she got botched to a point where she almost lost her top lip and her eyesight. She ended up having to get all the fillers in her face completely taken out because it went so horribly wrong and she was at serious risk. By hour, my lip was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The whole, all of my lips were swollen, but the right side was massive. It was massive. She, like many other YouTubers, contacted a company that will give you fillers for free in exchange for a free post. She said that it was a stupid decision and the company she had them done at just told her that it was a normal healing process. Yeah. That's what they all say. Her lips were swollen, purple, and bruised, and she had a difficult time seeing because her artery was clogged. She posted a YouTube video sharing her story to try and encourage other females that it is not worth the risk and it isn't always a quick fix like the other influencers make it seem. So up in the number seven spot is Brooklyn Love. She isn't as well known as some of the others on this list, but she might be now. Nothing wrong with shouting out some dream chasers out there. Know what I'm saying? Get her some clout. This one is a beauty procedure, not so much plastic surgery, but I feel like they all go hand in hand since you're getting a procedure done to alter your appearance. She went on to get a simple procedure done, one that I honestly didn't even think could go wrong. She got eyelash extensions, which turned out to be a complete nightmare. She was left with bruising and couldn't get any water near her eye without experiencing horrible pain. The blame went right to the technician who she claimed was using an iPad and put it too close to her lash line. Apparently during the procedure, the technician puts an iPad on the lower lash to hold them down while they add lash extensions to the upper lid. I've never had it. After her terrible experience, she went on to become a licensed eyelash technician herself because she wanted it to be a pain-free and relaxing experience like it should have been for her. In spot number six is the beauty influencer, Evelina. She underwent surgery to get veneers, which might not seem like a big deal to some people because it's one of the most popular procedures to get right now in the beauty world. But not everyone ends up with those happily ever after pearly white teeth. After Evelina had the surgery, she had three major issues. The procedure wasn't done properly and there was a gap between the veneer and her actual teeth. As the days went by, the veneer popped off, so she had to go get it glued back in. Imagine being in public and your veneer pops off. But less than a week later, it popped off again and she had to go back. Third time's a charm. The influencer revealed that she was opening a bag of chips with her teeth after that and it ripped the veneer out of the root. Ouch. She ended up going to see a different doctor who told her that the original guy had filed off way too much of her natural teeth and it burned her gums, which is why they they couldn't stay in place. Ugh. Thankfully, she was able to get some corrective procedures done. Halfway through the list at number five is Huda Katan. She's one of the most influential ladies in the beauty world. She funded her own cosmetic company called Huda Beauty. But one thing that her fans admire her for is that she's always been open about her insecurities that have led her to getting plastic surgery. She's not ashamed of the fact that she's gone under the knife. She even got a nose job and a breast augmentation done at the same time. 
brief. She also had fillers put in her cheeks, face, and lips. Out of all procedures, though, she says that the lip injections were the worst decision she's ever made. The surgeon did four different injections, which created four big bulges in the spot where the needle was injected. She said the bulges were so big that it was even hard to kiss her husband. It was so bad that she lost feeling in her lips and couldn't even whistle. She said she basically had no control over them. Turns out there was way too much filler in them and she had to get them fixed by a different doctor years down the road. Here we are at number four with Nikki Tutorials. This one was a big deal for people because the beauty guru was always praised for the way she embraced her natural beauty and encouraged others by it. Fans were pretty bummed when she admitted to getting Botox and fillers done, but we would still never wish her to have a bad experience with it. Her first ever lip filler experience was one that she was ashamed of because it didn't really go as planned. The fillers had created these little flops in her lips and she was embarrassed to even be seen in public. Like the others on this list, she had to go back to a different doctor to have the initial procedure fixed. She does speak openly on it though and she even did a full Q&A video just on her lip injections. She wants people to be informed before deciding if they want to get it themselves. Well that, or she was getting paid to promote the lip surgery. I said it. I said what I said. In our third spot is Alyssa Ashley. This influencer had a beauty procedure done that landed her in the ER. It wasn't plastic surgery, but I think the story should be heard since this beauty procedure is so popular right now. Scary. She went to get her eyebrows microbladed and actually enjoyed the session when having it done. It was the aftermath that was a disaster for her. Once she returned home, things took a turn for the worse. The entire area around her eyebrows and eyeballs were so swollen and red that she could hardly see. They got so bad that her actual eyeballs just looked like tiny little slits. She had to be rushed to the ER where doctors gave her medication to reduce the swelling and redness. Turns out she was having an allergic reaction, so they had to numb her face and do a procedure to treat the brow area. Good news is her face went back to normal. Bad news is the microblading ink had faded and she did not get the brow she wanted. So all of that trauma was basically for nothing. Kristen Leanne. Okay, another face procedure that happens on the daily and everyone needs to take caution because this is a prime example of you just never know. It honestly could happen to you. Kristen went to get a chemical peel done on her face and suffered from a horrific chemical burn. Her entire face was left discolored, peeling, bleeding, and in a lot of pain. She spent $400 on the peel and said that even when her skin healed, it still did not clear up. She talked about it and said, I would hope that when you spend $400 on a peel that you would see a drastic difference and I honestly can't tell a difference at all. Going through 13 days of gnarly pain on the face and the $400, I really don't think it was worth it. Uh, yeah. I don't think anything is worth a chemical burn. She's lucky it wasn't anything more serious than that. Don't mess with your face, people. Leave your face alone. Leave it. Your face is fine. Just freaking leave it. Earning himself the number one spot on our list is Jeffree Star. It's no secret that Jeffree Star looks completely different than he used to with the help of some plastic surgery. But one procedure he's been very open and honest about and it all began when he posted a really personal YouTube video saying, almost 10 years ago I got botched by a doctor in Beverly Hills when I went to get a procedure done. He lied to me about what he was doing and years later I'm still dealing with the consequences. He went on to explain that he doesn't regret much in his life but meeting this doctor is one thing that he does regret. He got lip fillers done and didn't have side effects until a year later. Turns out the doctor mixed silicone and Juvederm and Jeffrey had no idea that that was going on. Since then he's had to undergo multiple surgeries to get the original fillers removed and the new ones put in. He now strongly recommends his fans to do proper research before going in for anything. Tattoos, Botox, plastic surgery, everything. His YouTube video followed him into the procedure room where you can actually see the entire process of him getting his botched lip to fix. Yucky. A 21 year old webcam model wants to look exactly like a living doll. She's had so much plastic surgery she nearly died from a seizure and she doesn't want to stop. I'm going to introduce you to 21 year old Amanda Aloha from Finland, the girl who will do anything to look like Barbie. Amanda's always been different. She made her parents get her shoes with heels at the age of 4. She always knew she wanted to look like Barbie when she grew up. Her family couldn't afford to pay for her surgery so she's been saving money since she was a teenager to be able to afford a nose job, lip fillers, two boob jobs and both. Botox. She worked long hours at a variety of jobs. Amanda has a boyfriend and a sugar daddy. She found her sugar daddy on Instagram and he paid for her third boob job. Apparently her sugar daddy was willing to pay for her plastic surgery but not require a physical relationship. Damn, where do I find one of those? Her boyfriend also doesn't really care that another man is paying for Amanda's plastic surgery. But Amanda's addiction is beginning to get dangerous. Her third breast augmentation almost killed her after complications caused her to suffer a seizure and caused her brain to swell. 
Regardless, she wants to continue getting plastic surgery. Her plan is to get a butt lift next. The thing that I find crazy and so unfair about all of this is that Amanda was stunningly beautiful before she had all the work done. Amanda loves it when people call her fake or plastic. It actually makes her happy because to Amanda, Barbie is the epitome of beauty. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Tara Reid. You may know Tara Reid from the insane American Pie movies, but you may just know her from her unbelievable plastic surgery nightmare. She underwent both a breast augmentation as well as some body contouring and was left most definitely unsatisfied. She called her post-op belly the most ripply and bulgy thing. She had a hernia that was just next to her belly button and this caused her to lose out on a lot of work. In terms of her breast augmentation, the trouble came at none other than Diddy's 35th birthday party. Unfortunately, a nip slip on the red carpet left the whole world privy to what Tara wanted to keep a secret. Her breast augmentation was certainly not done correctly and this left her with some disfigurements on her chest. Tara explained how absolutely mortified this made her while also talking about how this was one of the dangers of not thoroughly researching surgeons before going through with these procedures. The good news, however, is that Tara ended up going under the knife again, this time with a board certified surgeon and she was much happier with her results the second time around. Before I dive into this one, guys, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video so far. In our number nine spot today, we have Dana Delaney. Dana Delaney is a desperate housewife star who opened up about one of the worst fears of every cosmetic procedure patient, Dr. Error. In 2003, she went in for some Botox. Well, her dermatologist was actually convincing her to try it, but this quickly went awry when he injected it into her forehead and ended up striking a nerve. This created a huge hematoma and it killed the nerve that was unfortunately struck. This ended up affecting the muscle in her right eye, which caused the eye to begin to droop slightly. While talking about it, she said, I notice it more than anyone else, but I was symmetrical before and now I'm not. Since this experience, she has sworn off any other kinds of plastic surgery and we truly cannot blame her one little bit. In our number eight spot today, we have Reed Ewing. You may know Reed Ewing from Modern Family, but he certainly has been candid in opening up about his tumultuous plastic surgery journey. His trouble wasn't really the procedures being done, but much more to do with what was going on internally and the driving force behind these procedures. Reed has explained that when he first went under the knife in 2008, it was to help cope with his body dysmorphia as he figured he would come out on the other end looking like Brad Pitt. Unfortunately, this obviously wasn't the case. He first of all talked about the unbelievable pain that some of these surgeries caused, saying he woke up screaming and crying his head off from the pain. This didn't stop him though as he continued to have procedures done throughout the years and for the times he was on camera, he had already removed the implants that were in his face and was trying to have less invasive procedures done. He has now stopped getting surgeries and he has since said it's a horrible hobby and it will eat away at you until you have lost all self-esteem and joy. He said, I wish I could go back and undo all of the surgeries. Now I can see that I was fine to begin with and didn't need the surgeries after all. In our number seven spot today, we have Kenny Rogers. This late country crooner is well known and loved by many, but after living a life in the limelight as he got older, he began to experience a desire for some cosmetic procedures. In 2006, he went in to get a procedure done as he felt like he had too many wrinkles around his eyes and wanted to fix that. Well, this quickly took a turn as Kenny was certainly not happy about the work that had been done this time around. He explained that the area around his eyes was now way too tight and he actually said he hated it. He said he went to one of the best surgeons, but the doctor had this idea that the edge of your eyes needed to be at a certain height, which is what left Kenny with regrets. Kenny was sure to always keep his spirits up though, as he had previously explained he had no idea what he would look like if he hadn't done it. And he said, you either do it or you live with it. In our number six spot today, we have Farrah Abram. Farrah Abram is most definitely not a stranger to the world of plastic surgery in any way, but even those who go to the extremes can still have some negative surgery experiences. While trying out a new experimental lip procedure, she certainly got some less than satisfactory results. The procedure was an attempt in putting in an implant in the lip, but apparently she had some sort of allergic reaction during the procedure, which left her with some interesting results. The good news is that she was able to keep a positive attitude about the situation as well, making light of her goofy appearance while posting photos of it. At the end of the day, it surely isn't easy to constantly be recreating your look with surgery. In our number five spot today, we have Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley was obviously the wife of the famous late Elvis Presley, but at some point, fans began to notice some changes in her appearance. She began to get quite a few procedures, including injections as well as facelifts, which is truly all fine and well, but the trouble came when she fell 
fell victim to an unlicensed cosmetic surgeon. This so-called doctor gave Priscilla cheek injections, but used both techniques and products that were unapproved. Apparently the silicone that they used in Priscilla's cheeks was more like what mechanics would use to grease car parts. This person actually ended up going to jail for the little operation they had going on, so it certainly was a very bad situation. Some other victims of this doctor were left with much worse than a less than great surgery job. Some were left with lumps, paralysis, and even holes in the face. In our number four spot today, we have Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox is super famous, of course, for her role as Monica Geller on Friends, but unfortunately, she fell victim to some terrible plastic surgery advice. Doctors began suggesting fillers for her, and of course, we would all trust the doctors, right? Well, Courtney did, but this led her down a road of multiple layers upon layers of cosmetic enhancements that she didn't like, and it left her feeling unlike herself. After all this money and all those procedures, she ended up making the decision to get all the filler in her face dissolved. She's now natural and explained that she feels better now because she thinks she looks like herself. Courtney is a strong example of how important it is to make plastic surgery decisions for yourself and not because anyone else thinks it's right for you. In our number three spot today, we have Jennifer Grey. Jennifer Grey was super well known after her iconic role in Dirty Dancing, which is still one of the most classic movies out there. But after her great success, getting a nose job was one of the worst decisions she made. The surgery itself went totally fine, but it was the unknown repercussions of this surgery that left Jennifer questioning why she ever did it in the first place. After her nose job, she found herself unable to book roles the same way she had been before. She said she went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. She calls it the nose job from hell as it totally sent her career in a downward spiral, which is unbelievably frustrating. This certainly is no fault of her own because she of course is not a fortune teller and this truly is just an unfortunate circumstance that she found herself in. She says she'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. In our number two spot today, we have Yolanda Hadid. You may know Yolanda from her time on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or her super famous supermodel daughters, but she has quite an interesting plastic surgery story. Yolanda didn't have extensive surgery, but she did have breast implants as well as fillers and Botox. In the end, it was her battle with Lyme disease that gave her troubles and complications with her cosmetic procedures. She explained that she believed that these procedures were complicating her illness and worsening the symptoms she was experiencing. In 2015, she had her implants removed after her doctor discovered one had ruptured and was leaking silicone into her chest cavity. She later went on to have her filler dissolved as well. She posted a selfie on Instagram where she discussed it in the caption and she said, living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox extension, and all that BS I thought I needed in order to keep up with what society conditioned me to believe what a sexy woman should look like until the toxicity of it all almost killed me. I am very glad Yolanda was able to make the decisions that she saw were right for her and her health because that truly is the most important thing. In our number one spot today, we have Heidi Montag. Heidi Montag is certainly no stranger to going under the knife, but in 2010, she took it a little too far. She explained that she had 10 procedures done in one day. If you were wondering what 10 procedures you could get on the same day, they were neck liposuction, a brow lift, a nose job revision, a chin reduction, getting her ears pinned back, a second breast augmentation, fat injections in her cheek, liposuction in her waist, hip, and inner thighs, Botox in her forehead, and butt implants. First, she opened up about her breast augmentation going too far. The second one took her to an F cup, and she realized that first of all, they were way too heavy for the rest of her body, but also she quickly found out that they can fall from your chest to your your belly button and hers were possibly on the way. So in 2014, she ended up getting the implants taken out and going to a C cup instead. She then opened up about how all of these surgeries in one day quite literally almost killed her. She actually died for a minute during these surgeries. She had to have 24 hour nurse care and at one point her security had to call Spencer and explain that they were unsure if she was going to make it. The good news is that she did, so now she can warn others of the dangers of that many extensive procedures in one day. All right, coming in hot at number 10, we've got Priscilla Presley. Ex-wife of rock and roll legend Elvis Presley regrets her plastic surgery, particularly because it was found out that her surgeon was unlicensed. According to her spokesperson, she unknowingly had industrial low-grade silicone, similar to what mechanics use to grease car parts, injected into her face. Yo! That sucks. 
I feel sorry for her. The doctor in question was Dr. Daniel Serrano. After an investigation, it was found out he wasn't licensed to practice medicine in the US and was deported back to Argentina. But not before spending 18 months in a federal prison. He left a lasting impact on victims like Priscilla Presley, but she didn't even have it the worst. Some of his victims experienced paralysis, lumps, and even holes in their faces. I'm sorry, beautiful face, I will never doubt you again. At number nine on this list, we got Nicole Kidman. Nicole is one of those celebrities that I think is in a bit of denial about the work that she's done, at least publicly. She is one of my favorite actresses, and I wish she would just admit it, honestly. Like, it's getting kind of like. She did eventually admit to her Botox injections after years of rumors and speculation. She said, I quote, no surgery for me. I did try Botox, unfortunately, but I've got out of it now, and I can finally move my face again. I mean, she can't really. <laughs> Sorry to be mean, but like I watch every movie and show that she makes, and like she 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 doesn't really move her face that much. But she's so good at acting. Other than that, though, like I'm amazed that she is that good of an actress without the ability to move her face that much. Nicole claims that she is completely natural now. I personally don't think that she is. It doesn't make me think less of her. But what do you think? In at eight, we got Mickey Rourke. Yes, men can regret their plastic surgery too. Mickey was once Hollywood's favorite heartthrob, boxer, and leading man. It was difficult to find an action film that Mickey Rourke wasn't a part of in the 2000s. He appeared in films like Once Upon a Time in Mexico and Sin City, but Mickey admitted that he didn't go to the right doctor. He said that most of it was to mend the mess of his face because of the boxing, but he quote, went to the wrong guy to put his face back together. In at seven, we got Joan Rivers. Comedy legend Joan Rivers has not been shy about sharing the details of her surgeries, which included a nose job, eye lift, and breast augmentation. She talked in depth about these surgeries in her book, Men Are Stupid and They Like Big Boobs, A Woman's Guide to Beauty Through Plastic Surgery. What a title. <laughs> Rivers battled with depression for much of her life, depression she tried to fix with plastic surgery. When she was growing up, her mother was mocking her chubbiness and doubted her ability to succeed. She would make a lot of jokes about her plastic surgery, like, the only way I can get a man to touch me at this age is plastic surgery. And also, no more Botox for me, Betty White's bowels move more more than my face. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. I love her. If you like Joan Rivers, definitely check out The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Apparently that show is based on her come up. In at six, we have Jessica Simpson. Why Jessica Simpson felt like she needed to get lip fillers is beyond me. There are few women more beautiful than Jessica Simpson. It was difficult to turn on MTV in the early 2000s and not be jealous of Jessica Simpson's beauty. But back in 2006, she admitted to Glamour magazine, I had that Restylane stuff, but it fades. It went away in like four months. My lips are back to what they were. Thank God it looked fake to me. I didn't like that. Despite Jessica's regret and admission, experts say that she continued to get lip fillers. She posted this makeup free selfie to Instagram and fans were quick to criticize her obvious change in appearance. But I feel like with Botox or any of those fillers, maybe like you get it and it just doesn't look the same anymore. That's what I've heard anyway. If you have had Botox and you've had this experience, please share it in the comments. And at five, we got Yolanda Hadid, mother of Bella and Gigi Hadid and star of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, says that her horrible experience with plastic surgery is why her daughters will also never go under the knife. Yolanda also used to be a model, a model who had her breast implants removed because she found out that silicone was free floating around her body when one of them ruptured. She couldn't be happier with her decision to remove those things, adding it was worth it because she could go back to living a normal life. At number four, we got Heidi Montag. Back in 2010, Heidi had 10 procedures in just one day. That's crazy. But fast forward to 2014 and she had her breast implants removed. She went from an F cup to a C cup. She said at the time, I couldn't conceptualize the way of them on my body. They felt like bowling balls on my chest. I felt inappropriate. Guys would stare at me really creepily and they felt they had the right to because I had such big boobs. Her surgeon told her that they were falling through the bottom and she got scared. Holy, what? Falling through the bottom? What does that even mean? She also added, I wish I could just go back to the original Heidi. In at three, we have Tara Reid. Ugh, and this plastic surgery disaster was so unfortunate. I remember watching American Pie and thinking, oh my god, Tara Reid is literally the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. And I know I'm not the only one. But after she got a breast augmentation, she was left with deformed nipples and ripped skin. She said her stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. She had a hernia, this huge bump next to her belly button. As a result, she couldn't wear bikinis and lost a lot of work. She had the procedures reversed in 2006, but by that time, a lot of us saw those horrible paparazzi photos and it was difficult for people not to associate those photos with Tara's identity. 
In at two, we got Courtney Cox. 55 year old Courtney Cox, aka Monica from Friends, has changed a whole lot compared to what she used to look like on the show. Fear of aging is something most women go through. Women in Hollywood must fear it the most. She was quoted saying, Sometimes you find yourself trying, and then you look at a picture of yourself and you go, Oh God, I look horrible. Getting older, I don't think that's the easiest thing. I've done things that I regret, and luckily there are things that dissolve and go away. So that's good because it's not always been my best look. Courtney is talking about the fact that she's had all her fillers removed, and she actually looks a lot more like herself since she did that. And at number one, we have Jennifer Grey. There is no actress on this list that knows just how much one can regret plastic surgery. Plastic surgery ruined her whole career. She went from being America's sweetheart in iconic 80s films like Dirty Dancing and Ferris Bueller's Day Off to someone no one recognized. Why? Because she got a nose job in the 90s. She got rid of the thing that gave her face character, that made her different, and she got rid of it. She told the mirror, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. It was the nose job from hell. I'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognized because of a nose job. These twins spent over $20,000 on cosmetic surgeries to look like Brad Pitt, and the result completely changed their lives. Matt and Mike Schlepp are aspiring actors from Arizona, and they spent 20 grand US to look like their idol Brad Pitt as part of the MTV TV show I Want a Famous Face. They endured months of painful surgeries, and they couldn't even eat proper meals because of those surgeries. Mike had a nose job, jaw, chin, and cheek implants. Matt had a nose job as well as a chin implant. Between the two of them, they had 41 porcelain veneers put in to give them Brad Pitt's famous smile. They were 21 years old when they did the surgery, so this is what they look like now. Well, they look like a, well, they look a little like Brad Pitt, I guess. Not really. In case you're wondering, yes, the surgery has helped them get more girls. Matt said that girls actually do double takes when they see him. Mike also has advice for people wanting to get cosmetic surgeries. He says to go through with the surgery now because you don't want to go through life always feeling down with the way you look. What do we think guys? Do they look better or did they look better before? While Matt and Mike Schlepp wanted to look like Brad Pitt, Sahar Tabar from Iran is going viral right now for wanting to look like Angelina Jolie. Her surgeries unfortunately have drastically changed her face. Some argue for the worse. Regardless, she gained an insane online following for her looks. She had around half a million followers, but now it seems she had to restart her Instagram account and she made the account private. Not too sure what's going on there guys, maybe she was tired of the online bullying? A 22 year old from Iran is going viral right now because she's undergone 50 operations to make herself look like Angelina Jolie. But instead, she ended up looking, well, not like Angelina Jolie. More on this today on IO. Sahar Tabar is Angelina Jolie's biggest fan, and she would do anything to look exactly like her. Unfortunately, her desire to look like her idol did not go as planned. She's undergone 50 surgeries in the last few months. In addition to 50 surgeries, Sahar has lost 75 pounds, and the internet cannot stop talking about her. Her Instagram page has gone viral. Sahar Tabar has amassed 400,000 Instagram followers at the time this video was filmed. Many of these followers call her beautiful. Of course, her appearance has gotten her her fair share of haters as well. A lot of the trolls comment that she looks like a zombie. It almost seems like she's embracing her newfound persona, cause she wears these like freaky blue contacts to make herself look like a corpse. Or maybe they're meant to look like Angelina Jolie's eyes, but I doubt it. Sahar is also extremely good at makeup and prosthetics, so her shocking facial features could be just clever use of both of those things. In fact, her facial features change from photo to photo. Sometimes her lips change sizes, her cheekbones change, and sometimes her nose turns to one side. There are some pictures and videos where she's wearing less makeup than others and she doesn't look as intense. It seems like she's using her appearance to generate a sort of like shock value and it's totally working. I cannot stop looking at pictures of her.